Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be looking at uh, a unique berserker's axe known as the Death Cleaver. Uh, the Death Cleaver is uh, something that you're not going to find everywhere. Um, the reason why the Death Cleaver is relatively difficult to find is because the base, the Berserker's Axe, only is being, you can only find it in, in basically uh, Treasure Class 87 zones. And because the base only drops from really high level monsters, um, you're probably only going to find this in places like Gas Sanctuary, um, the Pit, Ancient Tunnels, uh, etc. And, uh, and I'm just not just talking about the unique item, I'm talking about the base. You won't even see the base drop in uh, lower level zones, so keep that in mind. Now, the uh, Death Cleaver is uh, a relatively powerful weapon, and uh, besides the high damage output um, and the increased attack speed that it has on it, it also has the relatively nice um, negative targets defense of 33%, which is uh, which is fairly nice. And um, I feel like the the weapon has some really nice uses, so let's go over it together, shall we? So right off the bat, um, you'll see that the damage on the non-ethereal version is 91 to 269, which is pretty darn sweet. We also have a uh, durability of 26, which is really low. And, uh, and you're going to see that break a lot if you're a zealer or a fury druid or a frenzy barbarian. Uh, we have a dexterity requirement of 59, which is relatively low, and a strength requirement of 138. And I feel like those statistics are just fine for most characters that would probably use this. Uh, we have a level requirement of 70, which is particularly high. And um, in general, this weapon is, uh, is very fast because it is already a Berserker's Axe with a range of 3 and a fast attack speed. And then it has the uh, nice 40% increased attack speed on top of it. So you'll notice it's going to go pretty darn quick. Uh, we've got 280% enhanced damage, which does vary between 230 to 280%. And uh, the negative 33% target's defense is very, very nice, because when you go and you actually use this weapon, um, you will uh, be able to hit monsters a lot easier, because it's going to reduce the amount of defense the monster has, which essentially allows you to, uh, to require less attack rating to hit them. Uh, we also have 66% chance of Deadly Strike, and uh, Deadly Strike is the chance of double damage. Uh, this does stack with Critical Strike, but in a, um, a different way. So you can't get four times damage, but uh, basically they will both roll, and as long as one succeeds, you will get your double damage. And uh, having two rolls increases the chances over just simply one roll. 66% um, Deadly Strike is actually really high, and if you were to combine this with something like High Lord's Wrath, which has 37% Deadly Strike, you would literally be looking at 100% Deadly Strike, which is uh, extremely nice for a, uh, a Paladin who has no form of double damage. So, you know, whereas a Frenzy Barbarian can use Masteries to increase his Critical Strike, or a... Um, an Amazon, if an Amazon were to actually use this, they have Critical Strike. Um, you know, a Druid and a uh, Paladin have no critical strike, no critical strike. So uh, having Deadly Strike on an item like this, in combination with something like High Lord's Wrath, can give them that double damage that they most likely want. We also have plus 9 to life after each kill, which isn't a lot, um, and it does vary from 6 to 9, which is... It's a, it's, it's a, little, uh, it's a little low, I feel like, for level 70, when people are rocking anywhere between 1,000 to 4,000 health. Now, the ethereal version, of course, has a lot higher damage, uh, with 136 to 402. Um, the downside to the ethereal version is that you do have to Zod it. So if you are going to use the ethereal version, you're going to need a Zod rune handy, and you're going to want to Zod it. So you get that uh, that nice uh, ethereal Zodded extra damage on there. Um, now, this is a downside, though, because if you wanted to make this faster... Like, for instance, add a 15% 40 jewel, a shale rune, um, or and maybe you would like to add a, uh, an um rune for open wounds so that you can stack on the deadly strike, the open wounds together. Or perhaps you want to put a burr rune in there for, uh, for some extra crushing blow. Whatever it is that you would like to do to this particular weapon, you can't do it to the ethereal version because the ethereal version has to have the Zod to be useful. And um, you know, if you take this item out and you uh, and you play with it, you will notice that the uh, the negative target's defense and the deadly strike will make your damage a lot higher um, than it would otherwise seem. 
And as you can see here, just running a Zeal Paladin with relatively minimal equipment, um, I'm able to do a pretty massive amount of damage with the Ethereal Zodded Berserker's Axe. And of course, uh, it would be a lot better if I actually had some, some real equipment, but um, it's not absolutely awful. Um, I imagine that you'd probably want to combine this with something like Fortitude for the extra damage, or perhaps Treachery for the extra attack speed, um, so that you're attacking as fast as you possibly can. And of course the Ethereal version, um, you can barely even see the darn thing. Now, um, the thing about this axe that I've, I've really kind of, um, kind of disenchanted me with it, I guess would be the term, is that um, despite the fact that it's level 70, it's relatively difficult to find. Because they gated it behind the Berserker's Axe base, and the Berserker's Axe base doesn't drop from uh, a lot of places, the chances of you actually seeing this axe randomly along your journey are very slim. Um, there's also other issues with this particular axe. Uh, because it has no open wounds and, uh, and no crushing blow. Um, it's not particularly effective as, for instance, like a, a smiter weapon or something of that nature. And um, it, um, it means you'll have to get your crushing blow and your open wounds from somewhere else, especially if you're using the, uh, the ethereal zodded version. Now granted, if you are um, using the non-ethereal version, you can always throw an um rune in there for open wounds, or you could throw a burr rune in there for the uh, crushing blow. I believe it's burr rune anyway. Um, you know, and, and in general, you know, you can customize it a little bit, but of course the damage is going to be much less. Um, as you can see here, my zeal damage is 20 to 83. Uh, with the base, I have 391 to 1185. And of course, um, it's doubled. So the damage has doubled very nicely. Um, and then of course you can also have the ethereal zoned version, which has the 577 to 1735, which is pretty nice. Now, um, an interesting side note with this particular item is that because it is ethereal um, and because it has high deadly strike, um, it actually has some interesting uses inside of PvP. Um, and because PvP does not remove durability, only if you're attacking the actual player, um, you could essentially use an ethereal version of this with no Zod and put something else in it instead to increase the, uh, the damage even more. Um, you can even tag this up with something like, uh, like Lance Guard or High Lord's Wrath to get your 100% double, double strike or double damage, which is, uh, which is very, very nice. And um, I feel like the main draw to this particular item is the Deadly Strike. Um, and especially for a character who is not possessing Deadly Strike. So if you, if you are a Paladin or a Druid that has absolutely no Deadly Strike whatsoever, or maybe you're a freaking Necromancer or a Sorceress or something that's trying to build melee, um, you know, perhaps you want Deadly Strike. This is 66% uh, Deadly Strike is a lot, um, and, uh, and it's going to trigger very, very often. Um, in fact, with 66%, you're probably going to get more triggers than, uh, than not, which is um, which is a pretty sweet way to uh, to build a character. Um, I actually really like Deadly Strike, and it's funny because I actually just covered Witch Wild String, which also has 100% Deadly Strike. So uh, so very very cool. Um, I am not really particularly sure whether I would use this item specifically myself. Um, I already have a Breath of the Dying, and I feel like Breath of the Dying is a little bit better than this particular item. Um, it also depends on if you're a character who can even utilize Deadly Strike. So there are characters in the game that get no benefit from Deadly Strike whatsoever. Um, like, for instance, um, my Vengeance Paladin does not get uh, any benefit from Deadly Strike. So keep in mind, uh, before you decide whether you want to use this item or not, um, you know, figure out whether the skill that you're using, this particular skill that you're using, is actually affected by Deadly Strike. Because remember that Deadly Strike is only increasing your physical damage, not your elemental. Um, so for instance, if I were to swap over to um, Vengeance, so I don't even have Vengeance, do I? <laughs> I do have Sacrifice, though. Um, sacrifice uh, is, is going to benefit from the double damage, um, but Smite, as far as I remember, does not. So, uh, so despite the fact that I would have this really nice um, Deadly Strike effect, it, it wouldn't give me any benefit uh, for my Smite attacks. 
anyway, if there, uh, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. And um, it is an interesting X. It really is. Um, so, you know, if you happen to find it, maybe hold on to it and use it on a character. Um, I wouldn't specifically hunt it down, though, I don't think. And as always, keep watching.